Miraj says, guys, could you please help me how to create flow for SharePoint to delay until a certain condition is met in SharePoint list? For example, the flow is started when new item is created in the list and wait until when someone approves the item in the list. As soon as the item is approved, next action executes based on approved or rejected. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, Jonathan. I do approval workflows all the time. Um, so the big question here, of course, we need more information. Um, the question that he's posing is how to delay until the condition is met. Well, that's a do until or don't do until uh, action inside the workflow. That said, I did that a million times using SharePoint Designer with SharePoint instances that were on-prem prior to now. Um, but if you are using an a, approval workflow, you need to make sure that that approval process is going to take less than 28 days. If it's going to take more than 28 days, you can't use an approval workflow because it will time out because Microsoft will call that a long running workflow and will time it out and your workflow will fail. If what you're saying is that in the SharePoint list, somebody is actually manually going in and finding an item and marking it as approved or rejected in a status column, then instead of the when an item is created, you would use an additional workflow that is when an item is modified. Use a trigger condition that says that the status column is no longer in progress or whatever it was before. And also, because you're going to do an update at some point along the way, an update SharePoint item, also have a trigger condition that says that the modified by is not your service account that's running this workflow. Otherwise, you'll create an endless loop. And I can tell you from personal experience, that's not fun. Um, they never so, are. <laughs> no. It's so. a, I, I I don't know maybe I, I romanticize that idea of that because I of the idea of a perpetual motion device we can kind of do that with software and that's a beautiful thing come on you can until your user calls you and says I have twenty thousand items in this list what do I do and you're like well let's open up the workflow set a terminate step first so that it'll stop creating the endless loop and now go through and clear out your items two hundred at a time because that's what you can see on the page. That's not the fun. Next 10 years. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> so oh. short answer to this question is, um, if it's a manual change to set it to approved or, or rejected, then you want a, a Power Automate that's the trigger is when an item is modified and you need trigger conditions in there for the status being not in progress or being set to approved or rejected, and also make sure that the modified by is not your service account. Um, if the workflow is used, if you're using an approval workflow, then make sure that your approval task is less than 28 days long and just use a start, start approval, start and wait for an approval. And that will sit, it'll send out the email and it will wait and wait and wait up to 28 days. At 28 days, back to the whole, it turns itself off. So those are my two, that's the answer. Anyone else? Better answers? We, we don't want to steal your fun. <laughs> 75% of the workflows I create are approvals. 